morning. Uh, I've accidentally ordered a feature grade timber instead of select grade timber. This is what they consider to be feature grade timber. And, uh, Chris's uh, flooring is select grade and Chris is not too happy about having all this through his flooring so unfortunately we own this pack now so we're going to have to sell this off as uh, feature grade timber and then uh, we're going to have to buy in the select grade timber so it's going to be another week waiting before I was going to rip out the windows so I'm going to shoot down to uh, Frankston South this afternoon and give the cap a hand. Didn't even flinch. <laughs> Focus. So the cap beside him here. Mm -hmm. oh, if everyone doesn't know why he's called the cap, I want to look at our Fine okay. and Joe uh, YouTube channel. It's all about fishing. Anyway, the cap is about to just instruct us on another level. So he's captain of the boat. Now he's captain of this ship, which is building dreams. Just having a think. You're thinking, oh no, it's not, ju it's not just captain You're a on captain water. In life. Because you have captains in armed forces, captains in the police force. I think it's more a sign of being a leader. A leader. A leader of men. Yeah. I'm privileged people... every day to work with this bloke. Oh, I know that. That is a never a true word is spoken. That's why every day is just like a dream for me. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to start. We're here at Frankston South. Uh, Bob is our leader that inside. Is south of Frankston. South of Frankston. He's making his coffees because I demand that. I demand oh, coffee are. in the morning. I did ask for Lolly. No, I didn't. Stop. I actually said, Did I hear you making coffees, Bob? Yeah, he goes, No, true. but I could go and get you one. Yeah, no. And then he sort of half <laughs> and then off he went. <laughs> off yeah. he went. Yeah, so we are at Frankston South. We've got a, uh, what do you say, a home extension or room extension, uh, a brand new kitchen, uh, what we call Butler's Pantry. Was going to be added on to the existing home. Yesterday, obviously, we came in, we were discussing with the client the internal wall which is going to be running through here, which is going to have the butler's pantry come in that corner there and around here, and then we're going to have the internal wall run through here, which we've just strengthened up the floor there, and then the rest of this part here will be actual kitchen with a sliding door on the end there. So, we're just running through the plans now to build the walls. Build the walls. Oh, I was just looking basically where our double studs are going to be placed, double studdage, and because there's such a shortage on bloody pine at the moment, we have to use hardwood for all the double studs. Again, you're right in my face! Hang on a minute. Alright, so now I can step back a bit. Uh, because... <laughs> I can breathe. See, can... look at me, I'm like this against the wall trying to get away. You just, I need room to operate. I need to be able to do this and not whack you, mate. Yeah, so whenever you are building your stud walls, Obviously know your heights and uh, set it out first. Have your bottom plates, your top plates, and then your studs all set out in increments. And then nail it all together and then hang it all up. In my case here, we're cutting uh, the studs at 2363. Which will give us our heights in the end because we're doing a double top plate. But we're not putting the top plate on yet. Well, yeah, you're my apprentice, even though you are the cap. I want to go under the radar. This isn't a bad day's work. From the ground to a roof in two days, I think we've done pretty good.
Frankston South today and the plumber's just dropped in. <laughs> the plumber! Here we go. Hello, good morning to you. Have a little bit of a look at the job. I'm just gonna measure up, uh, just take a, a rough estimate today on um, basically the fascias and the, uh, the guttering, the box gutter when we go back into the house with the roof line. He's also doing all the gas and uh, the plumbing for the kitchen that's gonna go in, so it's been kind enough. He's been down at Mount Eliza today just to drop in and go over the job just to make sure everything is to his liking. Yep. Kitchen, we've got a sweet blood bag then. A magpie or something. Yeah, just going through the layout. So basically this is a renovation, uh, an extension of the house where we're gonna have a butler's kitchen. And, or butler's pantry and the main pantry or actually the main kitchen on this side here so in order for Aaron to do his job he has to know exact locations of where the hot and cold water are going to go and the waste for the dishwasher the sink and uh, what better way to have the client come out and just be on just to make sure he's happy with everything that's going on so that's what we're doing at the moment notice when the cap goes and buys his work belt he buys himself the one with the leather strap and the square holder, the premium one for yourself, and the dog shit one for me. The inspector's already been here and picked on the joist, and now he's looking at our walls, not quite level apparently. Oh, the inspector, oh, Aaron, sorry, you're the plumber, aren't you? Sorry. I was confused whether you're an inspector or not. He's like, where's your degree? The cap level. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, <laughs> Aaron's level. <laughs> Go and get his tattoo first this morning, though. Oh, no. Bit of a sleeve going on there, mate. This guy's a bad boy. Oh, look at that. Is that you? Oh, that is. is that yourself? <laughs> <laughs> It is a beginner mistake. Talk to the people. Aaron. <laughs> hey, I knew you'd do that. Fucking fuck. Just stop what you guys. God. It's too much. Oh. Just down here at uh, Frankston South Bunnings, and uh, the inspector's been this morning and passed on the, uh, on the sub floor. Uh, that means bearers, joists, and stumps. And we just come to Bunnings to get some um, yellow tongue flooring and uh, it looks like they're out of stock. We are at that point of the build where if we oh, open up the house, it's one of those conundrums that are, what was that? Nothing. Hang on a minute, I'll just have a sip. Have a sip. You've, you've already Maybe I should yourself. give you a sip to calm you down this oh, morning, all right? Mate. So we've been hindered with absolute torrential rainfall over the last week, week and a half. And we have a window of about four hours today, I reckon, maybe less. So we're at that point in the relationship with the job in Frankston South that if we open up the roof line and finish off the roof, we'll flood the house and give the client, you know, an, an internal waterfall, perhaps an internal pool, which they don't really require. The uh, roof tiler out this morning, so he's come and look at the job. He's going to price that up for us. So when we know a confirm or confirm a date with the roof tiler, we can then quickly open up the roof. He can get that tiled and then we can just move forward. Things. I told you what to do this morning. What? Said you said get up there and put that, that on. Sealed. I said I don't want to do it. Well, I didn't consider it. You didn't? No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good though. Got the flooring in yesterday. Oh, feels good. It's coming together. Come together! Oh. Right now! Bob is he's not happy. Through my hey. no, Bob's happy. No, he's not happy. He's, he's saying, happy. He's I'm going to leave so happy. you guys actually do some work. Huh. That's what he's saying. That's, right. That's what you're saying, wasn't it, Bob? Do you reckon? Yeah, I just thought I'd roll the electrician's cables up and 
So Reese is not happy with that, right? But that was pretty good. Nice oh, yeah, bird's nest. Yeah, I'm rolling for a start. <laughs> Damn, look at it. But we're measuring <laughs> arms, mate. It's all twisted and Hey fellas, yes, thanks for your help, appreciate it. It's blessed today, aren't we? Hey, young, <laughs> young built cabs. What a day we've had today. We've had the plumbers, and now we've had the cabinet maker. A bit of drama going on at the moment. The, uh, what's the, drama? the plumbers have lost their carcass, hence what? the cast of Sydney. So we think it could be anywhere underneath all the roof tiles in the insulation up in the ceiling. She broke the that he got early warning he got Welcome to a brand new day. It's the end of the week, it is Friday, what we call Savage Free Friday. And we're at Frankston South and we are with the greatest Ricky of them all. Look at these blokes, eh? Hey? <laughs> Long and checking the Paul's work, eh? Yeah, let's give it a little nip up, look. Give it a little nip up. A little pit stop and a classic yeah, Architrave yeah, and Skirties. Uh, finally, after, oh, I reckon a good three or four weeks of waiting, hardwood custom skirts and architraves have come in, and he's really done a great job on these, hasn't he? They are smooth as silk for the painter. All we've got to do is put them on, touch up a couple of the brad nails, and uh, Andy will be laughing. So this job sort of dragged out before COVID, and uh, obviously there's been uh, a lot of lockdowns in between, but we are finally here, finally at the last stages. It's been... Been about six months coming, I reckon. Eight months, twelve months. Who knows? Oh, we started it just before Christmas. Really. Started before Christmas, so this will be the last piece of the puzzle. slab in a backyard is now a brand new kitchen and butler's pantry extension now we've got this brand new structure from the ground up sliding doors from trend windows all hardwood of course we've got a brand new roof bricked up, bricked up. Aaron Royal Plumbing's done all the plumbing the, uh, the all the fascia and the gutters and the downpipes and all the plumbing inside we've uh, blended into the existing roof as we open this delicious sliding door up. Yeah, Look at that. The client is just so happy. She's stoked. She's running away. Uh, she's actually chuffed with the kitchen, believe it or not. Oh, yeah. You're like a dentist. You're not allowed to see your face. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we don't want to see your face. Well, starting from the inside, this used to be like a dividing wall that came out here across the floor. And I think it had like uh, timber. Do we have any photos of that? Probably not. Uh, I think we had timber pillars here, didn't we? Yeah. And uh, so we removed all that and it's got created this lovely open space now that they can have some games nights. They can invite us around for a couple of games of pool. And we'll put in a brand new sliding door over there. And uh, Bob's got his nice, well this is where the old kitchen was in here, which we've created into a uh, study. That'll be his office there. Office. Uh, a kitchen. Kitchen uh, cabinets used to be along here in the back. I think that used to be the pantry in there, which we've created now, a nice little walk-in road there. And, um, well, this used to be just concrete out here, didn't it, Janet? Um, this used to be... Oh, we had a sliding door, didn't we? Yep. Which we took out this little bit of wall here. You'll see it when we... Forced that all out. And that was the garage... Oh, I think that was the outside garage door through there, wasn't it? So we've joined this on and put in a delicious kitchen by Young Built Cabs. Custom built kitchen. They've gone with white cabinets and white Caesar stone bench tops. And then we're going with the subway looking tiles at the back there. Brick pattern. With the... Um, it's all two pack, yeah, yeah. Oh, we've got 
cabinets underneath here too, the overhang. Yeah, it's And I really did like what they did on the end there too. That looks good, yeah. sort of blends it all in. Gorgeous, look at all the storage in there. Jeez! I think that was the end of the garage there, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, and there used to be a little atrium in here. Yeah, it was the garden bed. In the garden bed. Yeah, with a huge tree in the corner. We built that up. Windows. Oh, and the windows. And windows, of course. This is Janet's favourite spot, right in here. She can hide away from Bob. Yep, shut the door. Well, she's already using the oven. And big pantry back in there. Oh, I must say, that is just an absolute job. I might just give myself a... Oh, don't break your own shoulder trying to pack, pack yourself back. Hey. Yeah, I know. I was going to say, it's always the end of the day when you're stuffed and you're ready to go home, but there's just one little extra job to do. Oh, and of course, yeah. there's only one shovel and you're the one doing it. And you've already done it twice today. And I'm sitting here egging you on. No, come on, mate. You can do this. Come on, let's do it. If you are interested in getting a renovation done, whether it be a kitchen, a bathroom, or an extension, then make sure you hit our Instagram accounts. I'll leave the description below. And hopefully, one day, we'll be building your dreams. Mm -hmm.